Okay, hey guys, it's Nana Tara. I'm here with the last video that I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna try and upload all of these things. It might be like four videos this week. They're just like various topics and stuff like that. Anyway, hi, I'm Nerd Tarot. Comment, like, subscribe to the channel. I do monthly readings by planet. I put the zodiac sign in there, but I'm more about the planets. Baby astrologer, trying to get into that. Um, I'm interested in a lot of topics, but I do those monthlies, book, book club, um, and then some other readings and things like that. So if you're interested, definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell, things like that. Um, I do videos like this as well where I'm like looking off into the distance and like talking about things. Um, so this is one of them. Now, this is about Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine Energy. 2021 I said was the year of the masculine. It was, it's the year of the metal ox, which could correlate to like Uranus and Taurus and things like that. So money situations and things like that. Um, another video will be out about Taurus, Uranus, strange love, because I think a lot of emphasis is being placed on like financial markets, but one of the interesting things is that Taurus rules Venus, which is like love and your sensory and things like that, and I think that with Uranus being in there, there's a bit of a strangeness that's going to happen, um, and like realizations and stuff like that. Uh, note my Venus is in Taurus, so I'm actually feeling it, um, but it's not really centered around my own thing. It's just I'm kind of just feeling like the house of Taurus is represented by Venus, and so I kind of feel the energy of Uranus and Venus merging, regardless of if I have the like actual like combo itself, anyway. So, 2021, Year of the Masculine. I say Year of the Masculine because Taurus is quite masculine, even though it's an Earth sign and Earth is technically feminine. Um, quite masculine sign, I kind of uh, see the metal as well as kind of a masculine thing. Um, and that may be totally untrue as far as like Chinese like elementals and things like that but sometimes I close my eyes and I have to just like talk because it's just easier and I go into a trance so forgive me if I'm like staying off into the distance my mercury's in cancer uh, and it's kind of debilitated with Neptune and Uranus there opposing it so Year of the Masculine, Year of the Masculine being vindicated in many areas where it's been vilified and villainized and then held accountable in ways that um, it needs to be for its own self-development improvement. Now this extends to like, yes, men, but it's more masculinity in general. So it can be for any one. But people who tend to hold the like masculine kind of energy more outright, out front, um, and the masculine energy kind of globally, and what it has done to the earth and relationships and things like that, and how um, the mirroring of the feminine has been kind of showing. Anyway, so feminines, I feel like. Um, your work, I'm not going to say is wrapping completion, I think by uh, the end of next year it will be because what I'm feeling is that masculine energy, that's an air freshener or whatever, masculine energy, divine masculine is looking to create dynasties. Dynasties not in that like concubines or like huge like families, but dynasties is in very strong bloodlines because the work that needs to be done once feminines who take the physical form of having like a womb and stuff like that once those people become uh like mothers the energy in my mind it i saw it like shift and it'll shift to the masculine and the issues and topics of masculinity will be coming up through being like a father, through being a 
a provider through being like having to be in masculine energy and having to do that um, thing as a responsibility and what it means to be responsible and what it means to um, uphold your word and things like that. And so this year is prepping um, for that, the metal ox. Next year is water tiger. I think the year of the dead is like fire rat. Let me see. Um, but the year after that is the year of the tiger. Now, I will link the year of the tiger um, up here because there was a video I did, Capricorn and the tiger, uh, mid-2021-2022. That's the year of trauma being right, released, things like that. And that's the year of, I believe, people masculine starting to circle bloodlines really strong bloodlines that's that's kind of how i feel i feel like masculine to really really um really looking for strong bloodlines bloodlines that are able to not only produce like children but also are able to help them unwind and transmute the energy through having experiences and things like that. So feminine, even though, you know, you may not like having had to do the work, like before masculine or before masculinity, um, it benefits because it's like, it's not that you won't be growing anymore or evolving anymore. It'll just mean that the major lessons will kind of be shifted from one party to the other. And then they'll have to learn. So, um, it's a really interesting time. So it's a water rabbit in 2023. So, yeah. So, yeah. 2021 year like the man masculine energy i think coming into an awareness standing up stepping up seeing where they are wrong mirrored gaining money and stuff like that too um 2022 is more it's really collective about healing trauma and things like that read peter levine or look into peter levine and then 2023 i think when the bloodlines are going to start happening um because it's like rabbits and stuff like that and i kind of see that as a fertility having children and things like that and you'll feel the shift as someone who i know is here to fix like the feminine aspect of my family line like like a lot like on both sides but like mainly my maternal side the feminine aspects, um, I know that there's something that I'll be helping them with, and I'll be helped as well, right? But my work culminates a little bit more with me having a solid relationship and a family, and there is being able to continue the family and bring a certain amount of honor to it, because when you're the dragon comes, I kind of feel like there's a protective energy about protecting the family and things like that and solidifying. And that's where that dynasty is coming from. Okay? So, congrats, feminines. You've done enough, enough of the work. The masculines, it's your turn. Get your ass beat out here in these spiritual streets. Um, no, but both sides are still going to be learning. But I think the masculine side is now going to bear... The brunt is not heavy karma or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, depending on how you were acting. But it's not heavy karma, but it's just, you know. You gotta learn lessons. And there's certain lessons that you have to learn through being with someone. So, that's it. That's all. Bye.